Welcome back to Stronghold Kingdom Tutorials. In this part, we're going to learn how to get archers. Okay, so once inside the game, we want to go to our research tab. In order to get archers, we need two researchers. Uh, we'll talk about the first one, and that is under the industry tab. If you haven't selected industry, then select it now. And then we're going to expand out the tree version. Okay, now we'll zoom in a little bit. Okay, so we need to get to this section of the research. As you can see, this research fletching is underneath weapon making. So let's go back to the list view. Now we have weapon making, and we already have the first research point full. So we should see the fletchers right here. It's not showing up because we haven't reached level six yet. For this tutorial, I have entered in as a new player to show you what levels are needed in order to get the research. Once we level up to a level six, the research for Fletcher's will automatically show up down here. Now for iron working, it shows us that we need to be a level 11. Once we research weapon making one time, armor working will appear. But at level 1, we won't see it. At level 11, it will reappear. So that is the research that we need under industry to get archers. Next, we're going to go to military. Click on the military tab. And let's find out what we need by using the research tree. Under the researching tree, we're going to go and we're going to look for archers. Okay, as you can see, archers are under the command. And we have the first research done. Now, the next research is two. It hasn't been completed, so the bubble is not filled. Once we would complete this research, we will see longbow, which will allow us to have archers. Since we are at level one, and this requires a level six, we will need to wait until we get to level six. And then we can go back to the list view, and at level six, it will show up. Those are the researches that we need in order to get archers. Now, let's go back to the industry tab, because we need one more thing. We need forestry. The game gives us forestry at the beginning of the game with one research bubble filled, which means we have access to wood. Let's now go to our village tab and we need to place down some wood. Wood will be used in order to craft bow. I have now logged back in to our commoner account so that we can see the rest of the process. Let's start by going to the village tab and as you can see, we're producing wood. Now, let's go to the top right, open up our weapons production buildings tab. As you can see, we have the proper research, and so the Fletcher shows up. Let's click on the Fletcher, and we should place it near the wood for maximum production. If we place it near the stone or farther away, we're gonna get a little bit less productive. So let's set that down. Now what we have to do is wait until the building has completed. Once the building has completed, it will start producing bows. Once we receive bows, we can go to our make troops tab. We have researched archers, so this icon will be lit up instead of shaded. Once our Fletcher's guide has started producing bows, we will have a certain amount of bows here and we'll no longer see zero. I will now show you what to do with bows once they're produced. Now that you have started producing bows, the number shows up under the icon. We have two bows and now we can make two archers. If you have two bows and this is grayed out, it means that you don't have any troops available to make archers. Troops can be seen by the head icon. I have 25 troops available in my village 
that I can denote to units. Over here we can see another panel which shows us our maximum army size, our troops, and our spare unit space. Maximum army size will show you how many units in total you can have. Unit spare space will show you how many units are available to create armies. Your troops will be the amount of troops that you have already created. So you can see I have one captain and I have a bunch of archers here and that will add up to the amount of troops. Now let's make our archers. Click on the two. If you need help getting villagers that are available to make units, please refer to part 14 in the tutorial. Okay, so now we want to use our archers. Let's go to the castle. And then let's select the first icon here, which is a tab for troops. Click on that, it drops down, and you can see that we have archers to place. Click on the archers, drag them over to your towers or your walls, and place them down by clicking. Once you have them where you want them, hit the confirm button. Thank you for watching. Please remember to comment below, rate this video, and subscribe for more content.